Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Quality Security. Welcome back to the channel. We are here with our Mercedes W124 Coupe Slam Sanctuary Customs Project. The last episode here at Maguire's for a day in the bay. Let's get into it. So I am here with Dale. Dale, what are we saying? How's it going? Good I'm to good. see you again. All good? Yes, all good. For those of you that don't know who Dale is, what do you do, Dale? So <laughs> I am the marketing executive and social media lead uh, for Maguire's UK. But with that, I am also the product nerd. So when it comes to DAs in the Bay or just the, uh, interacting with enthusiasts about products, they send me in. Okay, so the right person for the right <laughs> job today, yes? We would hope so. Yes. Okay. So we have our Merc here. Now, yes. um, we've owned the car for a year. We've done a lot of work mm -hmm. to this car. Uh, in terms of paint, we've had both sides painted. There was okay. rust on all the arches. They've all been treated. Yep. Uh, we've not detailed the car, so it doesn't look too bad. No, not at all. Uh, and it's absolutely <laughs> down on the way here. Yep. So yeah, here you have it. Um, what are the plans? So the plan is, while it's outside, we'll give it a nice wash down. Um, wheels, tires, everywhere you see here. And then it looks great outside, but that's when we get it into our tunnel of doom and with our high powerful lights and really look at the paint to see what we need to work with. Now it's all about evaluating the surface. So we're gonna check all the surfaces, see how the paint feels, see how it looks under our lights and choose the right products to get the, the best result for you. Right, sounds fair. Easy. Um, very similar to what you did with the S2000. Exactly that, yep. So we had that car in, that car had a lot of paint damage. Um, it was very textured, so it took a lot of clay barring to make it smooth. Uh, this is in great condition. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be too much to do, but like you say, it's had some old paint, it's got some new paint. So with that comes different challenges. So it would just be more refining it, I think this one. Let, let's have a look at the interior yep. as well. Now these are not the seats, the factory seats. No. Uh, at some point, uh, previous owners fitted these Recaro Classics. Yep. As you can see, they look beautiful. They, they have do. been re-trimmed. So this is yep. fresh leather. This is not conolized. Mm -hmm. So my first initial thing is get the mats out. We'll give them a, a nice kind of deep clean. With regards to the leather, they are in, it is in great condition. So it'll be a, a nice gentle clean, but nourishment. So we're going to feed that leather, give it some protection and longevity and also softness. And whilst we're here, let's pop the bonnet. Yes. Because uh, it's not a standard engine underneath there. <laughs> It's not a standard 3.2 yeah. engine underneath Who'd have thought you'd done an EV conversion? Yeah. It's not an EV. <laughs> nice. So it's an AMG 3.6 yep. lump. Um, this thing purrs beautifully. Yeah. Uh, again, fitted fantastically well. Mm -hmm. uh, previous owner's done a great job. I think just needs a little bit of TLC. Yeah, just all it needs. Um, we've got something called our multi-purpose cleaner. Um, it's exactly that. It's great for multiple different surfaces, especially on an engine bed like this, where you've got kind of exposed metals, rubber trims, and plastics we can give that a nice clean, but also a nice dress. So it's not gonna look glossy, it's just gonna look clean and well protected and dressed. Sounds like it's gonna be uh, an amazing car <laughs> when I come to uh, pick it up in a few days. I can't wait. No. Here are the keys. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see I will end. see you yes. in a few days. Drive safe, no worries.
Hey guys, I'm back. I'm here at Maguire's. The Merc is here and wow, she looks stunning. Doesn't she look pretty? Now, I'm not a detailer and I'm not sure of the Meguiar's products that have been used on the Merc, but obviously we have the main man here himself, Dale. <laughs> Hello here again. He is. How's it all going? Really good. I am chuffed to bits. This car looks <laughs> stunning. No right, problem. So, let's, over let's to talk you. it over. Over to you, Dale. I mean, I mean, like all of your cars, you know, that you guys have, they're always in good condition. So we didn't have some sort of terrible big restoration, you know, in the bay. Yeah. What we had was a refinement. So we gave the car a nice big pre-wash outside. We did the wheels, we gave it snow foam, used our detailing brushes to get all up in the grill, make sure everything was nice and clean all around the door trims. And then we gave it a nice big clean down. We used our gold class shampoo, super sudsy, super slick. And then it was all about getting it into the bay and evaluating the surface. So we used our eyes and the lights to see that there was some areas that are a little bit swirly, uh, which were fine. We're used to seeing that here. And then we kind of used the backside of our hand and run across the paint. And there were some areas of the paint that felt textured. So there was contaminants sitting on the paint, making which, it feel rough to the touch. Can you remember which areas those were? Yeah, it was the kind of over the bonnet, over the roof, over the boot. You know, there's a lot of dry dust in the air. The paint gets hot and it sits in the paint. That's what causes your paint to feel rough. So we used a clay bar to make it feel super smooth and uh, kind of remove any of that contaminant before the correction. So we, mo we moved on to using our microfiber system. Now this is a two-step DA applied system. Um, instead of traditional foam pads, they're microfiber, which means we can cut through quicker, but also refine quicker as well. So we use a correction compound with a cutting disc, then the finishing wax with the finishing uh, disc to give it that real high gloss. So Dale, I know externally the car was pretty tired, as you said early, earlier. Interior-wise, it wasn't too bad no. because I know the seats have been retrimmed. Seats, it was all about nourishing them, cleaning them gently, and then giving them that protection and, and softness. So we, we worked in our, our leather balm. Now this acts like a paste wax for your seats. So like the paste wax you use on your paint, you work this into the leather. It's gonna give it a nice softness and protection without making it feel greasy. Let's have a look at that engine bay. Have you even worked some magic here? Yes, so I'm taking zero credit for this one. Okay. All of this hard work goes to Grant. Um, whilst I was kind of working my way around the paint, uh, making that look as good as possible, he spent a lot of time under here um, with our multi-purpose cleaner and our brushes to really get in there, give it a degrease, but also leave it with a factory finish. I don't like an overly dressed engine bay. Sure. I like it to look kind of nice and satin, and that's it. done exactly that. All round, stunning job. Really appreciate all the love you've given our Slam Sanctuary Customs project, our 124 Coupe. I think it's time we got to have your hair. No problem at all. Let, Safe journey. Yeah, let you continue with what you've got to do. I know you've <laughs> yeah. got another car Another in the day, bay. another car. <laughs> yeah, another yeah. car in the bay. Um, yes, thank you for no problem at all. All the love. Um, guys, what do you think? She does look pretty. Now, I'm gonna drive from Maguire's back to Cardiff Security in Hayes. And whilst I'm in the car, I'm gonna to talk to you guys. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the journey that this car has been on from when we bought the car just over a year ago to where we are today, including obviously all the work that Maguire's have done. And at some point in the next few minutes, I'm gonna throw out a number, which is the number we'll be looking for when this car goes up for sale. Yes, guys, if you recall, the whole purpose of this project was to show you what we can do with a car and at the end of it, sell the car and go again. So guys, I'll see you in a few moments inside the car on the way to Hayes, West London.
Right guys, I've left Maguire's. I'm actually on the M1 heading back towards uh, car security in Hayes. Uh, big thanks to Dell and Grant for doing an awesome job on our C124. It does look fantastic. And the interior, even though the interior was pretty clean, it's even cleaner, so it's a lovely place to be. Now, let's talk about the journey that this car has been on. So we bought the car September 2021, and we bought it with, in our head, we knew what we were going to do. So we had a rough outline of what we were, what we were planning to do throughout the project. Yes, the car came with these amazing Recaro classic seats and also that AMG 3.6 engine, which is the heartbeat of this car. If this car didn't have those seats and that engine, I wouldn't have bought it. If you can find a set of these Recaro seats, you'll be looking at least two and a half, three thousand pounds and they won't be in great condition and there's no guarantee all the buttons and switch gear will work. This all does work, you've got heated seats, you've got adjustment, you've got lumbar support and so on. Um, and then you obviously have to get them retrimmed. Um, so you could be into 5,000 pounds by the time you find some seats, have all the switch gear rectified if it's not working and have it color matched to your interior. The engine itself, try and find a 3.6 lump. Very, very, very difficult. If you do find one, you'd have to buy yourself a brand new loom and find somebody who will install it. You could be into quite easily five, six, seven thousand pounds by the time you do that. So there you've got 10,000 pounds worth of additional extras, which we got with the car. And they will go with the car when the car goes up for sale. So let's talk about the steps that this car has been on since we bought it. The first step was sorting out the wheels. Luckily, we had some nice wheels that came with the car, so we saved a few quid. Uh, we did consider buying another set of AMGs, but it was just like, well, why? Why do we need to? So we used the AMG Aero 3 wheels that came with the car, took them over to Ellie at Voodoo Motorsport, and he split the wheels up and made some custom three-piece wheels. Now, there's a separate episode that covers every step that I'm going to talk about. If you click in the description below, you can see all the links to all the separate episodes. So if you want to go, if you want to delve a little bit deeper, by all means, check out those separate episodes. Um, step two was paintwork rectification. The car had rust on every arch. Common thing with these cars, obviously, this is a, a 1994, 95 car, 94 car, I think. So you're talking best part of 28 years old, there was rust and there was some poorly treated rust by a previous owner. So we took it over to Dips at the Custom Cars, uh, discussed everything that needed to be done, uh, and he said the bonnet, the roof, and the tailgate, the boot lid, were all fine, but both sides needed doing so. The driver's side, complete uh, front to back was done, and same with the passenger side. Great job done by Dips at the Custom Cars. Stage three, I love in-house, audio and security. So the first thing we did was fitted a Kenwood a single DIN DAB ready stereo, which has got Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming, USB and so on. Power base front and rear speakers, they run off the stereo. Uh, two power base 12 inch subwoofers run off a mono power base amplifier, made a custom box. And the icing on the cake is the Viper 306 alarm system. Not only do we have an immobilizer, central locking, window closure, which are quite standard, we now have remote start, which is a cool feature. In terms of the audio, it sounds beautiful. It's not overly bassy, but it's enough. Good quality bass and the mids and top also perfect. Step four, we picked up the wheels from Ellie and uh, brought them back to the unit and put the car together. What I mean together, suspension together. So yes, prizes, struts and bags, front and rear, uh, married with airlift 3P management system, made a custom controller. This was all installed in-house by Jay. Um, fantastic job because that's what Jay does. And I've got to say, this car drives beautifully. Now, typically, as you guys will know, if you've owned Mercs of this kind of era, they can be a little bit uh, boaty, a bit wishy-washy with the suspension. I've been throwing around in the corners back there just before I hit the motorway, and this car drives beautifully. It's not too firm, but it's not overly soft, and it's not crashing about neither. And finally, the car's been to Maguire's, it's had a day in the bay, and she looks 
perfect. So you're looking at best part of £15,000, at least in terms of retail, is what we've added to the car. Now, I'm not gonna lie guys, part of me is like, I don't want to sell this car because the car does look amazing. But I've gotta stay true to my word. Much as I say I don't want to sell this car, it is going up for sale and the number we are looking at is £20,000. So officially, the car is up for sale. We're looking at £20,000 as is, wheels, audio, suspension, security, um, massive service history file, uh, including the original bill of sale to the first owner of the vehicle. Uh, obviously, everything we've got, we've documented on the channel. Um, we've got all the receipts and so on, that, you know, bits and pieces that we've paid for. We have already started looking at options for project three and four of Slam Sanctuary Customs. Um, should we do another JDM car? I'm not so sure. Um, maybe an Audi? Maybe a classic BM? Don't know guys, what would you do? Uh, two more projects we're looking for. Uh, they both could be air ride, one could be air ride, one could be more a, a fast road or track car. Let us know what projects uh, you think we should do. Somewhere around similar sort of values in terms of budget. The original budgets were 10,000 pounds. You know, we're happy to maybe spend 15 to 20,000 pounds to get something a little bit better, or a little bit newer or, or a better classic. Uh, let us know what you think of this project. You know, did we do it right? What would you have changed? Um, are you interested in the car? DM me direct, uh, DM car to security. Uh, the car will be at Cass in Hayes if you'd like to view. As always, any questions or any comments you have, drop them down below. Most importantly, if you have liked what we brought to the channel, just smash that like button now. Give it a thumbs up, we appreciate that. And uh, share our content, and obviously make sure you subscribe to the channel. There will be two more projects dropping on the channel very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for those. And who knows, one of you guys who are watching this episode might be the next owner of this amazing Mercedes-Benz W124 Coupe. I'll see you on another episode, guys. Take care.